want to wish everyone a very pleasant and safe Labor Day weekend. Liz Ryan caught up with a St. John's County commissioner ahead of the holiday weekend. Commissioner Henry Dean has a special Labor Day message. I hope we're all looking forward to a very pleasant weekend now that the storm has passed. I hope that a lot of uh, residents and visitors alike will take the opportunity to go to our beautiful beaches. We have 42 miles of beachfront in St. John's County. And I did want to mention that we have free shuttle service to two points on the beach. The first is from Cornerstone Park on A1A that will take visitors to Michael's Landing on A1A, direct beach access there. That starts at 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 p.m. Saturday through Monday. The other shuttle will take beachgoers to the ocean and fishing pier at San Augustine Beach, and that will leave from the uh, San Augustine Beach City Hall, which is on A1A and 16th Street, and go directly to the pier. It's going to be a very crowded beach for the three-day weekend, so it would be a good move to take either the uh, shuttle from Cornerstone to Michaelers Landing Parking or from the uh, San Augustine Beach City Hall to the pier. Labor Day weekend represents the end of summer and the beginning of the fall season. Of course, school has started. Wish all the children to be safe and look forward to an exciting fall. We do have several events coming up in September, including the Sing Out Loud Festival. Mumford and Sons are going to be back for what will be their second appearance. They were here about seven or eight years ago. For tickets, go to singoutloudfestival.com. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. We've got a ton of discounts at area attractions, museums, tours, and so much more. That's Susan Phillips, president of St. Augustine, Ponte Vedra, and the Beaches Visitors and Convention Bureau. She spoke to Liz Ryan. St. Augustine is a vacation wonderland for tourists all summer long. But if you're a local, you did have to endure a little more traffic and crowds. If you're a resident of St. John's County, it's your turn. Today begins Locals Month. In September, what happens is they get to play tourist. Just about any attraction that you can think of or museum or tour in the area, there's probably a discount on our website uh, that people can obtain. Some of them are free. Some of them are highly discounted. It's a way to get our local folks into these establishments. Here are some of the participating businesses and attractions offering discounts. Citygate Spirits. Colonial Quarter, the Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park, Ghosts and Gravestones Tours, the beautiful Leitner Museum, Marineland Dolphin Adventure, Pineapple Ride and Tour, Red Boat Water Tours, Sea America Tours, the Spanish Military Hospital Museum, the Spice and Tea Exchange, the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park, St. Augustine City Walks, St. Augustine Distillery, St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum, St. Augustine Sailing, the Tasting Tours, Villa Zareta Museum, and Whetstone Chocolates Tasting Tours. You can also get a discount at Florida Water Tours by using the code SJC25. Old Town Trolley lets you have free admission to two out of these four. Old Town Trolley Tours, Old Jail Museum, Oldest Store Museum Experience, or Potter's Wax Museum. Remember, you will have to show proof of residency. For more information on Locals Month, visit floridashistoriccoast.com. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. The weekend is here and there's plenty of family fun to be had in St. John's County. This is Stacy with Fun for Augie Kids. Tonight is the first Friday Art Walk event. Galleries open their doors offering new art exhibits and lively receptions to the public. Most galleries are within close walking distance of each other, while some are just a short trolley ride away. There will also be a free concert offered at the Cathedral Basilica during this event. The Fort Mose Militia is bringing the 18th century back to life. Visitors can witness the weapons demonstrations, which include musket firings, and children of all ages are welcome to participate in the Children's Militia training. This includes wooden toy muskets and authentic uniform accessories. This unique experience provides a great photo opportunity, so be sure to have your cameras ready. Home Depot is hosting their free in-store kids workshop this weekend. At this month's project, you and your child will be making a DIY microscope. For more on these events and others, please visit us on our website at fun, the number four, augiekids.com. Have a great weekend. 
And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.